like in that can. They look yeah. cute, but I'm just I don't know about those smells. Uh -uh. I'm more concerned that people are putting everything bagel seasoning in their mashed potatoes. <laughs> <She's disturbed about laughs> that, this. that just throws me off completely, but I'll stick with my, my fall leaves type candle for the fall vibe. Yeah, I'm not into the side candles. Mm. Unless like, you know, you wanna maybe pretend you've been slaving in the kitchen. And, like you just put something in the microwave. It's like, oh, I made this, it smells like. But meanwhile, you just microwave something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I told know. Justin earlier, I'm like vanilla lavender. That's that's about it. I don't Ooh, know about green scent. bean smelling homes. Perfect. But. It's the only thing you can do this time of year to actually make it feel folly, just because it's so hot outside. Mm -hmm. It's been we so said warm. It feel, you said you've been loving this. The colder morning, it kind of feels a little bit like fall, but it's going to be nice for trick-or-treaters tomorrow, which is nice, too. We can't forget it's Halloween, right? Right. It's going to be a fantastic forecast for trick-or-treaters tomorrow. Today, also looking pretty nice. It's basically what we're seeing today into tomorrow. So right now, I am watching just a couple hit or miss showers out there for the most part we've been sunny all day long but starting to see some of those showers working their way across southwest florida this evening very i call them popcorn showers because they're very just isolated popping up around the area but they're moving pretty quickly our winds have been anywhere from gusting 20 30 miles per hour this afternoon so yeah if you're seeing the rain now it's gonna be pushing out of here pretty quickly seeing a heavier downpour in southwest arcadia right now also pushing into fort ogden we'll start to see a few of those little raindrops here in the next couple of minutes but one of the showers I was just watching pushing over 75 towards Ortiz Avenue, that's rained itself out. This has been the pattern throughout the day. If something is trying to work its way towards the Gulf, it just rains itself out. But seeing some of those heavier pockets also into uh, Hendry County right now also. But really, we're looking good. Once the sun goes down, just a few of those clouds overhead looking like a nice evening if you are going to be out and about, maybe just hanging out on the lanai with the friends and family. Weather right now though, it is gusty out there. We've been seeing those gusts anywhere upwards of 20, 30 miles per hour. Take a look at Naples earlier today. We had a gust of 34 miles per hour, but this is helping us cool down because it has been a warm one. Temperatures right now are ranging in the 80s, some of us into the upper 80s, so certainly toasty. Winds are going to slowly start to die down over the next couple of hours, but still going to be breezy tomorrow. Today is going to be the gustiest of the week, but it's going to start to see those winds still really 20, 30 miles per hour, those gusts as we head into tomorrow also. So definitely those Halloween decorations gonna be swaying in the wind. Make sure you're holding on to your hats. Let's talk about temperatures though, specifically 87 currently into Cape Coral, also into Gateway, Bonita Springs, 86 into Naples, 85 into Golden Gate, 86 into Immokalee. And as we go forward over the next couple of hours, really not looking like we're gonna be seeing torrential downpours by any means, but just a quick little passing shower and then working their way out and fizzling themselves out, just raining them out as they get towards the I-75 corridor. Tonight, mainly clear, nice breeze, mainly dry, temperatures falling through the 70s, waking up tomorrow morning, gonna be seeing those temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s. Halloween forecast looking really nice tomorrow. Even the afternoon, sunny and warm, isolated showers. We do have that 20% chance of rain once again tomorrow afternoon. Basically what I was just saying, what we see today into tomorrow. High is gonna be in the upper 80s. And of course, if you're gonna be trick or treating, not gonna be running into any issues. By 6 p.m., temperatures in the mid 80s, just a few spooky clouds overhead as we head throughout the evening hours and not very chilling. Those temperatures just gonna be falling through the 80s. So some of those costumes might be a little bit toasty in, but it's gonna be comfortable as we wake up in the morning hours. You can see that here in our seven day forecast, waking up to those temperatures in the low 70s for the most part. Now, we're not gonna be seeing a cold front anytime soon. So we're gonna be seeing those temperatures in the upper 80s, a little bit above average for this time of year and not gonna be really seeing a whole lot of rainfall as well. So it's looking pretty nice if you do like the warm weather, but again, not gonna be seeing a whole lot of rain and it's gonna to be toasty. So keep that in mind. Thanks, Jocelyn.